how are you? I hope you are well. It's so long since I've seen some of you. It feels like a really long time, but I hope you're okay. And hopefully we won't be talking like this for too long. I miss you all. And I'd love to hear all about your Christmas holidays and what you got up to and all the things that you did, if you did anything nice. Um, if you want to let me know, you can let me know. You can get your mums and dads to text me or send me an email or find another way to let me know. It'd be really good to hear from you because I miss you all. I miss seeing you all every week. So we are in a new year and a new year um, usually comes after, well does come after Christmas. And so at Christmas you probably got lots of lovely presents, lots of lovely gifts and things that you really wanted. I got some lovely things. I got a new ring, which was something I really wanted. You can't see it very well, but it's pretty. It's got hearts on it. And um, I got some theatre tickets to go to the theatre. And I got a new brush, a special brush for my hair, which I really needed. So that was really nice. And those things, I was so pleased to get those things. But is it just about having all the stuff? When you get new things, are they the things that are the most important thing to you? Not really. Those things should not be, should never be the most important thing. Now, you probably know that we are in the first month of this year, and this year is called January. And often at the beginning of a new year, you might hear people make things called New Year's resolutions. You might have talked about it at school this week. Um, I wonder if you've made a New Year's resolution. People might say, I'm going to do my homework every week. Or on the night that I get it, that used to be one of mine when I was at school. Or you might say, I'm going to stop biting my nails. Or, excuse me, you might hear adults say, I'm going to lose weight. Or I'm going to go to the gym every week. Or something else. And all those things are good. A resolution is a goal, it's a target, something you want to work towards. And I like having things to work towards. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to work towards and what I'm going to do this year. You might think, that's not really a resolution, Michelle. But for me, this is something that I have decided I want to do this year. And it's on video and it's on YouTube now, so you're going to have to hold me to it. Okay, so... We are going to um, look at a story that Jesus told in the Bible, in the New Testament of the Bible. Then there are some videos of this story down below that you can choose. You can choose one or you can watch all the videos. It's up to you. Um, or you can find another video that's based on the same story. I don't mind. But it'd be great if you can if I choose one of those videos. And we can pause this video, watch a video and then come back to me. Is that okay? So three, two, one, pause the video. Now, I hope that you enjoyed that story. And that story is called The Parable of the Rich Young Ruler. And in that story, you might remember that Jesus spoke to a man and asked him to give up something so he could follow Jesus with his whole heart. And Jesus wanted the man to give up all of the things that were really important to him. To give up his money and his wealth and probably all of his nice clothes and nice shoes and his house and all of those things to be able to follow Jesus. And could that man do that? Was he able to? No, he found that really hard, didn't he? He could not give up what he wanted in order to follow he could not give up all of his things in order to follow Jesus. Now, this is the one thing that Jesus said the man had to do to have eternal life, to have life with Jesus when, um, forever and when he dies. And I'm not saying that you need to give everything up today. That's not what I'm saying to you. So you need to still listen and think about what I'm going to tell, talk to you about. Okay. If you think about how did that man feel about giving up everything he owned? He was quite sad, wasn't he? He was very rich, he had lots of money, lots of stuff, and didn't want to give all that up to follow Jesus. Now, I want to make clear to you that Jesus does not give us a list of things to do to get into heaven. There's no list to check off. 
But you might wonder why Jesus asked this man what to give this up for eternal life. Jesus knew that this man was held back by all of his things. He knew that all of his things were more important to him than following Jesus. And that's what stopped this, that man from following Jesus with his whole heart. And I wonder, my challenge to you this week is to think, if Jesus asked you to give up all of those lovely Christmas presents, all of your lovely toys and things that you like, would you be able to give it up to follow Jesus with your whole heart? Hmm. Because that's what Jesus wants. Jesus wants us to give our whole heart to him, to follow him, to worship him, to give him our whole heart and to make sure that none of our possessions, our stuff, is more important than him. And that's really hard. Okay. To follow Jesus, what we have to do to follow Jesus, it's really simple. If you don't follow Jesus yet, but you want to follow Jesus... The one thing you need to do this year is to think about saying sorry for all those things that you did wrong and believe that Jesus died on the cross to save you. That might be something that you want to think about this year. Now for me, I told you that I am going to think about um, my New Year's resolution this year. And my New Year's resolution is not to give up something. Mine is to start doing something, do something more than what I did before. Because I already do this sometimes. I already try to do this, but I think I need to do it a bit more. And it, you might say, oh, Michelle, it's eating healthy, eating lots of fruit and vegetables, which I do need to do more. But mine is about being, um, being thankful. And I want to be more thankful this year and thank God for all of the good things that he has given me and he has given us. And so one thing that you could do this week is find a number or draw a number one. And you could write in there the thing that you want to do, the one thing you want to do to help you follow Jesus with your whole heart this year. It could be that you want to try to read your Bible more. Or it could be that you want to help at home more. Because helping at home, helping mum and dad at home, is also a way of following Jesus with your whole heart. So maybe that is something that you could think about this week. Think about that one thing that you could follow Jesus for with your whole heart. I want to follow Jesus and I, my one thing I want to do this year is to be more thankful. Because sometimes I get a bit annoyed and frustrated with things, but I need to say, actually, no, God has given me so many good things in my life, and I'm going to say thank you to him for that. So today, the thing I'm going to say thank you to God for is I'm going to say thank you to God for you guys, because you guys are great, you, you children are why I do what I do, and I am so thankful that God has put you in my life and me in your lives. And I just pray that this week I will remember that and I will remember all of the good things God's given me. So let's pray before we go, okay? Jesus, thank you that you have given us so many good things in our lives. Thank you that you want us to worship you with our whole heart. Help us to think about, to put you above stuff, above all of our things and all the things that we like. Help us to make you the most important thing in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, it's been a bit of a long video, so I don't know if you're still watching. I hope you are, but it's been good just to kind of chat to you and say hello in the new year. Hope you're all really well. And um, I look forward to hearing from you soon. So take care, guys. Miss you all. Bye-bye.